This is a case shared by Dr. Aureliano Moreno from Tijuana, Mexico. In this case, a patient with diabetic retinopathy was submitted to perspinal vitrectomy due to a dense vitreous hemorrhage associated with traditional retinal detachment. It's important in these cases performing circumferential dissection of the posterior hyoid in the mid periphery. So you can remove the tractions that connect the periphery with the posterior pole and can get better visualization. The surgeon was able to remove most of the tractions with the vitrector in the surgery. For the segmentation, it is important to use low vacuum to avoid the iatrogenic breaks. The use of a chandelier light is also important, so you can perform by manual techniques using forceps and scissors if necessary. It's common the presence of bleeding while removing membranes from the arcades and up disc. Be prepared to perform hemostasis with endocautery if necessary. After removing all the vitreous and tractions, the surgeon performed a retinotomy to aspirate out the dense subretinal fluid. The use of perfluorocarbon liquid was unnecessary in this case, and after silicon oil injection, pan retinal photocoagulation was completed. Despite the severity of this case, patient had a good outcome with excellent anatomical results and improvement in the visual acuity. <laughs>